welcome back to Sarah SoCal Garden. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a March garden tour. And this is an interesting time in the garden because things are ending and there are going to be some gaps and things like that to where um, the summer veg will start going in. So yeah, I'm so excited for this garden tour. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments on anything that you see, any vegetables or you don't know what what is leave me a question or leave me a comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer those as best as I can give this video a thumbs up if you like it go ahead and subscribe click that red subscribe button for more garden videos and more garden tour videos I'm gonna be making this a monthly video so go ahead and stay tuned for the upcoming months okay so right now I am in my back cottage garden and I'm just going to start here in the corner and then I'm going to go make my way around and then I'm going to go into the side garden. So right here I have my makeshift rain barrel where I've been keeping my rainwater. Here I have my composter. Here are, is a raised bed. I have two identical that I believe I got them from Sam's Club. And these are great, these are self-watering. So I have some brassicas. I have carrots down there. And I also have parsnips. Kale, purple kale. I have some more parsnips. And this is some arugula. This is the dio kale. some mint. Sorry for seeing my shadow. It's really sunny today. Thyme. More kale. These are onions. These are Walla Walla onions and these are the white sweet Spanish onions. And these are all potatoes. I have one, two, three, Four back there containers of potatoes and it's a mixture of Yukon gold and red. This is our lemon tree which the bees love the lemon tree and it produces some really delicious lemons. This is my greenhouse which is a new addition and it's been really really great to have. I'll give you guys a greenhouse tour. So I have some cucumbers, some squash, Swiss chard back there in the corner. This looks like it's basil. Leeks. These are tomatoes. More tomatoes back there. Those are all leeks and onions. That's an eggplant. Fennel. Chamomile back there. And those bean plants right here, those are the purple heirloom hyacinth beans. I'm so excited for those. Those are going to be gorgeous. More seedlings. Beans. Tomatoes back there. Those tomatoes are so far a great success because those aren't as leggy as my other ones on top. But I recently figured out why. And that's because these tomatoes never went into a container like these tomatoes are in. So they were able to be stronger. Lavender plant, which it's giving off some really pretty blooms. In these two beds, I have brassicas. I have some kohlrabi, beets, lamb's ear, sage, and I just put manure in these beds. That's why there's probably flies. More kohlrabi. Some onions. These are more brassicas. 
cabbages that it looks like the aphids came back, so I gotta take care of that purple cabbage. Romanesco. Brussels sprouts. These are all turnips. And then I have another extra area of seedlings. This is Swiss chard. And there's beets underneath here. And then in this bed I have Brussels sprouts. And these Brussels sprouts are doing great. Can you guys see those tiny, tiny little Brussels sprouts right there? And then I have some giant spicy red mustard. Another Brussels sprout. And then in this bed, I have lots of kale. It's doing really great. For some reason, the, the aphids don't attack my kale, but they will attack the other brassicas. Red Russian kale. And this is so beautiful and it tastes delicious. Another Brussels sprout. This one is not as strong. Might need some fertilizer. I have some scarlet globe radishes. This is my Vermipro worm bin. Let me open it up for you guys and show you. Slugs in here. Yep, there's there's several. So let me take these guys out because I like to come out at night and eat my stuff. So this is the worm bin, and all we do is we just feed the worms. We bought in worms. We bought them off Craigslist. They're in there. But what I would like to do is sift through this and take out all the good, all that good stuff right there and use it when I plant, when I plant things. And this goes pretty deep. So it has a perforated bottom so the worms can go in other areas of the garden. In this area of the garden, I have kale, it's flopped over right now because it's it's really hot. I have them in these grow bags, which work great. More kale. This is a red cabbage. It's coming along lovely, but it looks like it's got some aphids, so I gotta take care of that again. Some dill. And this area have raspberries that I transplanted and they're doing great. There's lots of new growth there in the bottom. And it looks like some of them are even budding out, which is great. And then coming over here, this is the most, the newest bed. I have Swiss chard right along the edge. And then next to that, I have celery. This is an heirloom celery. And then right here, those are collard greens, which have been doing great. And it said on the tag that you can put these in partial shade, which is exactly what this area gets. And then right here, this little flower patch are some calendulas. And this one, I don't know the name of that one, but it's really pretty. That's a blueberry bush. And that's uh, Italian flat leaf parsley. That's where I do my seed filming and things like that. That's where I keep all of my supplies and stuff. Scarlet runner beans that are drying out. I'll show you guys. They're doing really good. Beautiful nice pretty color and then over here which is these paper whites just decided to bloom and they are gorgeous 
they're so pretty. They don't have the the most nice. <laughs> they don't smell like a rose, I'll tell you that. But they are stunning. They're beautiful. And these already bloomed. I just repotted them up to see if they would bloom again and, and they did. Which is great. Love that. Here I have some radishes. More potatoes. Some more paper whites down there. And then these two tubs are garlic. And they're doing great. Um, now I am in the side garden, which is just right there, and it goes stretches along the side of our house. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a tour of what's growing over there. Okay, so in this first bed, I have some lavender. The bees really like this one. And then this is just a nice perennial flower. And then I have some spicy red mustard. Looks like something's picking at it. Some kale. Lots and lots of carrots, which are doing really, really great. Show you guys. Uh, thinning them actually really, really helped and worked. And then I have some garlic, which is doing really good. Pleased with that. And lavender there in the corner. Some kale. It's doing okay. I think this needs, it needs some water fertilizer. And then here I have my standing self-watering bed, same in the back. And we have Thai basil. I'm letting it flower so the bees can do their thing. This is where all those beans were that I just took out. Swiss chard. And then over here are, I have three blueberry plants in pots, which need to be repotted soon. And I have blueberry blooms. They are so pretty. So soon I'll have blueberries. And then in this bed, there's a lot going on. I trellised up these nasturtiums and it just gives this area some nice height. I have some Chinese chives right there. Lots of peas. These are the Alaska no wilt peas and they really don't wilt, <laughs> which is great. They're doing great. And I put one, two, three, four teepees for them. That's plenty. So they'll find their way onto the teepee. Sometimes you just have to, you do have to train them a little bit to get up there. That's okay. Look at that one spreading all the way over there. And then in this bed I have beets, which if I dig around a little bit. You can see that beet right there. That looks like it's probably ready to harvest. I'm gonna leave it. Some chard. That's a lamb's ear sage. And this is a cabbage. More cabbage. Some cabbage over there. More beets over there. Lavender. I have a nice little wall of nasturtiums. I like to vine. And then over here in this bed, in one of my last vlogs, I planted the garlic and it's already sh having shoots on it, which is great. I have shallots back there. Some red kale. I'm sorry, purple kale. Oh, it smells like garlic over here. <laughs> These are the shallots that I started from seed and everything needs a good water so when it cools down 
I'll give everything a nice drink of water. That bush back there is Italian curly parsley. Some lavender. This is a volunteer tomato plant. And some kale that I've had for a really long, really long time. I've had this kale for um, at least three years. This is a nice geranium. It's a lemon geranium, so you can rub your arms on it to repel the mosquitoes. Then coming back here is my two vegetable beds and then the butterfly and bee garden back there in the corner. So in this area, I have marjoram, which this is a great herb. Some chio, chioga beets, red cabbage, I have three of them here and they're doing so good. Very, very little pest damage. I think after I put the um, compost down, they just took off. I have kohlrabi back here. That is the heirloom kale, the curly one. That's a dino kale. And then I have some sage right here which it's going to flower, which that's okay. The bees like that. And then I have some dill. Move that over. Mm, it smells so good. And then I have cilantro that's going to seed, but aren't these blooms pretty? And the bees love those. They adore it. I have more kohlrabi plants right here. They're, this whole area right here is all filled with kohlrabi. Some carrots back there that they're not doing that great. That's okay because on this side I have more carrots that are doing much better. I have borage. This is a great flower to have in the garden. You can see it's about to bloom and the flowers taste exactly like watermelons. Some carrots hiding under there. This nice hearty, hearty kale, which I haven't had any pest problems with any of my kale this year, which is great. And so this area is my butterfly and bee garden that I planned not that long ago and put together. And it is really coming together. I'm so happy with how it looks. This is calendula some chamomile. This is the, let's see, that's salvia. Sunflowers. Forget the name of this one, which I need to take the tag off. That's a lilac, a vining one. Lavender. That is a yarrow. Some more salvia. Look at that yarrow. Calendula. It's just stunning. I can't get over how pretty these blooms are. They're gorgeous. I don't see any bees on anything, but yeah, this is milkweed. This plant right here, that's milkweed, which is supposed to be great for the butterflies. Alright you guys, that is going to be it for this March garden tour. I hope you really enjoyed it. I love doing these videos. I like showing what I'm growing and hopefully it inspires you to get growing in your garden and to go ahead and Subscribe to my channel for more garden videos and thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far I get really excited to see my channel grow But anyways, thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it Leave me any comments or questions down below and sorry for any background noise if that bothers any of you But I do live in an urban area, so there is gonna be a lot of background noise
But anyways, thank you for watching and happy gardening. Bye.